Well, fans, you did it. With your overwhelming passion and support for the show, you brought Teenies' exclusive premiere of The Paddling Brian's back for a second season, and it's launching on our network this fall. Well, hello, Brian and Brian. How's it going? Very good. It's great to have you on this special webisode for T&E. Um, you know, we've had so many great questions coming in as part of our Ask the Brian's uh, web feature, as you know, for the past few weeks. And our community is very, very excited about your season two, of course. But before we begin, I have a few questions of my own. So I've noticed that uh, over the last uh, several months, we've had over 3,000 ratings to your show's pages. We've had hundreds of comments about your show and over 100,000 page views alone. I mean, that is just incredible to me. How does that make you feel? I had no idea. <laughs> people I, like I didn't think there was yeah. <laughs> I didn't think there was that many people that like canoeing out there, but uh, yeah, I thought it was just our friends that watched. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, why do you think it is that your online community and your audience is so uh, connected to you? Why do you Why do you think that is? I, I think I think that canoeing is just kind of like Canada's. You know, it's one of our. It should be one of our national sports. I mean. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's just, we go out there and explore things in a way that no one else can. We, we actually get into the heart of it and we travel so slowly through it that we show you everything we see. And I think a lot of people like that. Yeah. I think that, uh, you know, obviously canoeing across like 5,000 kilometers is something that not everybody does. As you know, when you first started, you had a lot of pushback, a lot of these guys are crazy. What is it that kept you going? I mean, you went through so many difficult periods uh, throughout your journey. What was it that kept you going through the journey? Well, it was just that so many people were, were you know, thinking that we weren't going to do it and we were going to give up somewhere that that kind of motivated to prove everybody wrong. Yeah, a lot of the a even, lot of the doubts kept pushing us yeah. forward. Even our parents didn't believe we were going to make it until yeah. three quarters of the way through the trip. There was a lot of there was a lot of doubts and there was a lot of belief too. It was both. Yeah. You know, it was both ends that kept us going. And how would you say the journey changed you? Um, well, how did. I don't know, I think I'm still the exact same, but I just get to canoe for a job now sometimes. <laughs> okay, terrific. Well, we'll, t we'll turn to some of the questions from our online audience. There are so many great ones. Um, and so we're going to start off with Jan. Jan writes, you guys had some high highs and some low lows during the first season. Your motto is, you're going to get there or die trying. But at the same time, there are a lot of mishaps and unforeseen hiccups and problems in the first season. What, what was the point in time when you felt like you were ready to throw in the towel? We were sitting there, remember that night? We were sitting there on the side of the Milk River and we've been dragging the canoe for almost 700 clicks. We just, it was day after day of dragging the canoe and we knew, we, we knew then we weren't gonna make it, remember? Yeah, well, we thought, we, we thought We talked that... about it, we knew we weren't gonna make it and somehow pushing on for two more months and then, you know, we hit the ultimate high that yes, we are gonna make it now. It, we really hit like dragging the canoe was... Yeah. This is what it's like to hit a sound bar in the middle of the Milk River. We have here uh, by the name of a fan, um, this question. I heard that this trip was not originally meant to be filmed and aired on television. If you were not filming the trip, would you have done things differently? And if so, how? We wouldn't have changed anything. No, no nothing. nothing. Not this a thing. Is, uh, this, is, this is and will always be the most reality TV you could get. This is where we're not, uh, we ignore the camera as much as possible and learn to not have it there, you know? So it's, uh, we don't change anything for the camera. So what you see is what you get. That's the it. The camera makes no difference. <laughs> no difference not at all. Very interesting. Um, so a fan also asks this question. What would you say to anyone else who may try to embark on the same type of journey? Just get out there and get started. Go, go do it. You know, you, you come up with the idea and so many people come up, everybody comes up with that crazy idea and you just, you just got to actually just go do it and that's it. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's that, and that's all there is to it, right? Like, I mean, so far it's worked out there, pretty yeah, good for us, buddy. There's always going to be a million reasons not to do something. You just have to do it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Focus on the reasons that, that Well, he only you needs should. one reason to do it, right? Yeah. And that is? Have fun to get out there. Yeah. You know, <laughs> do what you want. Do what you want. 
Excellent. Thank you. So we have this one particularly excited fan named Mel. Hello, Mel. Um, and uh, <laughs> had, there's a particularly long set of questions here that come up and it shows just how passionate and excited this community is. So this person writes, so psyched about the upcoming season of the Paddling Brines. When do you head out? What are the details of the route? How long will it take? What states will you be traveling through? Any crazy rapids you're anticipating? Looking forward to season two. That's a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> That's, a question. um, That's for you, Matt. Well, no, we're going, uh, um, we're heading out June 1st. Yeah. yeah. We are going to hit uh, rapids that could probably kill us. Yeah, um, what, oh, we what couldn't else? name all the states. It's Colorado, Utah, Nevada. Yeah, with uh, California, Mexico. Oh, Mexico. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, speaking of Mexico, that brings us to the next question. We have Dan Brown seriously asking this question: How the heck are you going to get into Mexico? And he, and then how are you going to get back out? Sneak well, in and sneak out. Well, that's well, that's <laughs> option A. But we usually opt for Plan B before Plan A, and maybe we'll try and get boat landing permits like we did on the first one, how we got into the United States, it's probably easier to get into Mexico anyway. I, yeah. so, I, think, I think it's getting out of Mexico that's the hard thing. Yeah. I don't think there's a big problem in canoeing into Mexico. We'll figure it out when we get to the borderline. There you go. <laughs> that's the way to do it. Figure it out when you get there. Okay. We have Tim asking. Hello, Tim. We have Tim asking, are you going to continue with similar dangerous antics such as when you hurt your knee, or are you going to be a little more cautious this time around? Well, no, this one's the size of a golf ball. This one's swollen the size of a tennis ball. Oh, actually, this time we're going we're gonna to up it a whole bunch because we, we actually got fortunate enough to have a film crew there. So film crew means support crew means medics means, oh, yeah, <laughs> watch out. This one's going to be nuts. <laughs> we have a question from Jack. Hello, Jack. Congrats on your new adventure. I hope you have a safe journey. Is the network sending their own camera people along with you, or do you have to keep going back to retrieve your camera equipment again, like you did in season one? Leave. This is Brian Bryant, Formula Canoe does the bobsled run. Canoe past it, turn around, canoe back, take down the camera, then canoe down the part of the river that we just canoed down again. It takes you a half hour to get back to the thing. You've wasted an entire tape on a 15 second shot, you know? Why don't we have a crew? Everybody else has a crew. Well, no, they're gonna be bringing, they're gonna be bringing some people out to help film, but we're still gonna try and do as much filming ourselves to keep, you know, the whole, the whole feel of us being out there mm -hmm. doing the filming. Keep it real. Yeah. Excellent. And I think that's, you've nailed it right there, Brian. It's, uh, and Brian, uh, <laughs> is the fact that I think that's why our audiences are so connected with you. you you're just real, and that really shows. And uh, I think we're very excited about season two. We wish you all the best. And fans, if you like this segment, you can stay tuned every week on Travel and Escape when season two launches this fall. We'll be, we're going to be having this special video web series by uh, the Brian's themselves where they're going to be uh, on the canoe answering your questions. So keep those questions coming. Until then, happy travels and have a great summer. On the canoe. <laughs> cool. <laughs>